need. Flooding fears continue for an historic black community in Tulare County. The residents of Allensworth are fighting for their community safety as more rain falls and concerns rise about the snowmelt. Action News reporter Kate Nemerich has more on the community and their efforts. It's the town that refuses to die. That's what Allensworth community members say is the town's motto. It was originally founded as a black community. Now it is majority Latino, according to community leaders. Now the town is working to prevent their town from flooding, and they're looking for support in the effort. Allensworth was founded in 1908 by Colonel Allen Allensworth. It was the first and only town in California entirely founded, financed, and governed by black Americans. He was a, the, a lieutenant colonel, the highest ranking black uh, member of the military at that time, uh, decided to establish a township to essentially be a, re a place of reprieve for a lot of blacks during that era. The town faced hardships over the years, including Allenworth's death in 1914, the Pacific Farming Company not developing a promised irrigation system, and the railroad bypassing the town. The original town now memorialized as a state park, but Allenworth still lives on Recent storms put the community under evacuation orders. We have issues with White River that's flowing in to our eastern, uh, to the eastern portion of our community. We have Deer Creek right up there. Coyote Cadera is a longtime resident and advisor to the Allensworth Progressive Association. He says community members have taken it upon themselves to try to divert water away from their community. Water just kept flowing. We had tractors, shovels, whatever we could find. That's how we stopped that flow. Kadera says they've been getting support from the county, but they need everyone who has a stake in the area to come together on flood mitigation. We just want all the applicable organizations, agencies, governmental, nonprofit, uh, whomever out there to come up, including the railroad. We need to get to the table and figure out what we do before this heavy snow melt. Luis Vasquez lives in the area. He had concerns about Pozo Creek and wants work to be done on the front end. If uh, we can please get more attention and help because it's a, it's a silent issue and it's a silent danger that's coming up and I think it can affect a lot of people. Kadera says those who have decided to stay despite evacuation orders have done so to protect their property. He said they've already held multiple community meetings and will continue to address flood concerns. In Allensworth, I'm Kate Nemerich, ABC 30 Action News.